Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Scourge. Looks amazingly impressive. As you can see, his ultra mode is that of a a boat. Um, no, uh, uh, basically a Cybertronian spaceship. I know in my previous Scourge videos I did, he, uh, I said a boat, I said Don boat, I said, uh, I, I, I said, um, I think I said soap dish on his older figure. Um, anyway. So, yeah, there he is. Uh, Prankos Mussy is this blue here. Uh, beige is blue, Decepticon symbol on the front. Um, lightish red for the, uh, the, the, the Hans. You know, for the, the robot mode, which all in all looks pretty good. Um, he does come with a couple accessories. It comes with this little blast effect. Also comes with this little uh, sniper, handheld sniper rifle. And of course, since he's Studio Series, you know from the film, the original 86 movie, comes with a backdrop. And his backdrop is basically the, uh, pretty much the the little grid patterns there, and you can see there's a shrapnel uh, and kickback being turned into sweeps. Of course, Thundercracker, when he was one of the Decepticons jettisoned into space by Starscream, um, let's just say Thundercracker became Scourge. That was clear cut. Although to this day, there's still a controversy over who was actually a Cyclonus. Was it Bombshell or was it Skywarp? I'll have to, uh... although what's interesting is that Cyclonus and Kingdom, which is interesting, but Scourge is a studio series, which is interesting. I wonder if that means, does that mean we're going to get and his armada in Kingdom? I know the sweeps are confirmed for studio series, but and his armada should be at least for Kingdom. And Vangelis would be so happy if that were to be the case. Holy shit. So like I said, the ship mode looks great. What can you do? It's uh, pretty interesting and quite a quite a sight to behold. So anyway, so there's the weapons to transform him. What you got to do? It's pretty much a shell former in its way. You got to take these bits here um, and pretty much untab them from the side here and just lift them up for now. Oh and. Fold this bit down. You can s that will reveal the head. Fold this guy. Fold these guys up like that. Then what you'll do here is come to the uh, the back of the ship here. Flip out the feet. It's there's that. Come to these panels here. Open them up. Come to the front of the ship um, and just. Very, it's a little, there you go. Just unclip it as much as you can. And then what you wanna do is open, just fold back this little backpack here. We're gonna get to that here in a minute. Um, what we wanna do is wanna push it as far in as you can. Well, actually not yet. You can't do that yet. Spread it out like this, as much as it'll go come to this panel here uh, where the feet are and untab it. Then what you want to do is fold this panel in, push it in the, to the chest, push it up. Um, just pretty much accordion the, the bits as much as you can. And then And already you can see there's a bit of stressing going on on that joint. Be careful on that. Um, push this guy back. I think I might have. I think I might have. Nah. Sorry about this. Um, <laughs> 
Okay. Come on, Scourge. You little... Ah, there we go. Push it in. Then you can push. Then you push this guy sucker in. Fill in that gap. Uh, flip this little back panel uh, into the back. And then turn this uh, little bit around. This little... Um, this little... Uh, pencil pen thing or well let's uh, say scope then split the legs untap the arms the backpack itself uh, can just uh, yep yeah, fold these guys in these little you know uh, and then oh yeah I forgot these little uh, little thrusters can go can <laughs> can look like this I think oh no 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 I think yeah this is the I believe this is the correct way I could be wrong so if it's not then I'll do it the correct way next time and then just pretty much leave the backpack as is like that and then for the arms uh, which is kind of the last bit of the transformation flip these guys up push push the arms forward and then you're supposed to tab them into place and that will give you the arm transformation like thus um, and there you go there you have scourge in his robot mode and oh my god it's awesome I really just wow what could I say it's epic. Articulation wise, head can go, well, full 360, up and down, side to side. Arms can go up and down. They really can't go full 360 because of the backpack. Out to the side, bend to the elbow, rotate. His wrists do rotate, but his hands, sadly, don't move and open and close. They're molded differently, but ah well. Uh, he has waist articulation, which is sweet. The legs go forward and back, out to the side, bend at the knee. Uh, it can, um, it, it can rotate at the upper thigh, but it doesn't rotate there. Uh, and the feet have a little bit of ankle tilt, which is quite awesome to say the least. We take a look at the face. It is very epic, just very G1 Scourge-esque. Really, really does. Uh, sadly, he does not have a chamber to hold the Matrix of Leadership. And I'm not joking, that actually happened in the Burden Harvest to Bear in Season 3, when after Rodimus Prime gave out the Matrix, or no, he didn't give out the Matrix, after, uh, I think it was Dead End and Breakdown that ambushed Rodimus Prime, the Matrix fell out, and the Matrix got stolen, as, as typical in recent times with the with Netflix and Kingdom um, and Scourge ultimately sees power of the Matrix and it corrupted him made him a monster but then Hot Rod got the Matrix back in the end and it pretty much Galvatron beat the Everlaming shit out of Scourge as a result um, <laughs> so yeah um, but of course the weapons uh, you can uh, this you can plug this in his hand uh, there are arm ports here, so you can, you know, have him live his person, like his previous life as Thundercracker or Thundercorker. Uh, so there's that. There is uh, on. You can store the weapon on the back here, which uh, or not really, <laughs> which sucks. Fuck. Um. Shit. Um, damn. Anyway, these guys like to pop off their little, little joints here. So, we're just going to get this joint in, then I'm just going to... For the purposes of the review, let's see, how do you...
All right. Just gonna use this as a reference guide to pop this in. Thank you. Purposes been served. Go go die in space. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like telling an inanimate object to go well. Anyway. Oh, um, he is a bit on the top heavy side. Don't get me wrong, but what can you do? Uh, you can plug the weapon thing in his little little hand here, and then I'm just gonna. We'll just actually, you know what? For the purposes of the review, actually, unofficially, I'm just gonna stick it right on his shoulder like that just because so all in all well I recommend getting studio series scourge here he looks epic he really does um, the backdrop he comes with is of course a very nice tribute to when Thundercracker did get reformatted by Unicron into scourge his transformation while simple is quite interesting his little space shuttle mode or special his space boat mode was impressive um, really, really blends it well with Cyclonus and Galvatron. I can't wait to review the other two. A top of Unicron, which still has yet to come. Uh, it's been backed up and all that because of shipping and such. So all in all, Scourge looks amazing. I would highly recommend getting him. You can find it. It is, is the best version of Scourge that we have gotten in years. So you won't be disappointed by him one bit. It's amazing. You can see there's a Decepticon symbol in his chest. And what's well, amazing to say the least, really does. Truly amazing. So anyways guys, that's my video review of the Transformers Studio Series uh, Voyager Class Scourge from the 1986 film. I'll see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible in the next video. And yes, so take care everyone, see you soon and good day, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.